Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss how to find the sum of co-primes of a number. Now do watch this video till the end because we have provided for practice questions at the end and you will be able to solve them only if you have watched the video completely. So without wasting any further time, let's begin. The first topic, what are co-prime numbers? Now two numbers are said to be co-prime if there is no common factor between them other than the number 1. So for example, I have taken the number 13 and 12. Now 13 and 12 are co-prime numbers because the factors of the number 13 are 1 and 13 and the factors of the number 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 and the only common factor between them is 1. So these two numbers are co-prime because there is no other common factor other than the number 1. So in general, if two numbers A and B are co-prime to each other, then we say that A is co-prime to B or either we can say that A is relatively prime to B. Now note that all prime numbers are co-prime to every other number. So you can see that 13 being a prime number is co-prime to every other number. I will provide a very detailed video on co-prime numbers very soon on this channel. So if you haven't subscribed our channel, then please do so because you should not miss any chance of learning something new and amazing. Now our second topic of discussion is how to prime factorize a number. Now this is an important tool required for this topic and if you know this topic then you can skip this part but I would recommend you to watch it. Now prime factorization of a number is nothing but to represent a number as a product of its prime factors raised to arbitrary positive integers. Now by this statement what I mean is if you have a number let's say n then n can be represented as a product of its prime factors a, b and c which are raised to arbitrary powers p q and r. Now they are product so you can multiply it. Now a, b and c are prime numbers and p, q and r are arbitrary powers. Now if the number is big then there may be other prime factors but we have taken three numbers for the sake of simplicity. So let's take an example. If you have a number 100 then 100 can be represented as 2 square into 5 square when 2 and 5 are prime numbers and 2 and 2 are the respective powers. So by this example, you can see that how easily we can represent a number as its prime factorized form. Now if you want a more detailed video on this topic, then I have made a separate video on this channel. So you can go watch that video first and then come back to this video. So done with all the prerequisite theory required for our main topic, let us understand how we will find sum of co-primes of a number. So if you are given a number, let's say n, then the sum of co-primes of this number is equal to n square by 2 into 1 minus 1 by a into 1 minus 1 by b into 1 minus 1 by c and so on and so forth as many as the prime factors are present in the number n because over here a, b and c are the prime factors of the number n. So we just have to remember this formula and we can calculate the sum of co-primes for any given number. So let's solve some few examples on this topic which will strengthen your base. As you have seen the first question, according to our first question, we have to find the sum of co-primes of the number 100. Now according to our formula, we have to find the prime factors of the number 100. Now we have just seen that 100 is equal to 2 square into 5 square. So the prime factors in the number 100 are 2 and 5 respectively. So according to our formula, the value is equal to 100 square whole divided by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 5. Now we have to calculate this value. Now 100 square by 2 is equal to 5000 and 1 minus 1 by 2 is equivalent as 1 by 2 and 1 minus 1 by 5 as equivalent as 4 by 5. Now 2 and 4 will get cancelled and we left with 2 and 5 and 1000 will get cancelled and we left with 1000. So the value is equal to 2 and 2000 which is equal to 2000. So you can see that how simply we can apply the formula and calculate the sum of co-primes for any given number. Now as you have seen the second question, we have to find the sum of co-primes of the value of 6 factorial. Now what is 6 factorial? Now a number n factorial is nothing but the product of all the numbers from that number to the number 1. So 6 factorial is nothing but 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Now since we only need the prime factors and not their powers, so we can simply sort that there are only 3 prime factors 2, 3 and 5. 
So according to a given formula, the value is equal to 6 factorial whole square by 2. Now the value of 6 factorial upon calculation comes out as 720. So on calculation, our value is equal to 720 whole square divided by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 3 into 1 minus 1 by 5. Now we can calculate this value and this value will come out as 69120. Now this is how we can calculate the sum of co-primes for any given number. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video. And if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy.